So let's talk about the chipping. So I'm explaining the basics first. And um, first of all, what are, what are you supposed to do once you get to the chip in the first place? But first of all, you actually should make up your mind, where do you want to land the ball, right? So most of the people actually do that. So they really say, okay, I want to land it on the, on the green or on the fringe, or if you want to have a, a low one, where should it, should it land? Right here. So what you're supposed to do is you, you take the whole distance because you have to define basic number one, which is the ball position in chipping. And most of the people underrate that information completely. Because if you say, okay, you have 100% of the distance of chipping and you want to fly it, more than 50%, that means you have to really fly it longer than rolling, then the ball position might want to go a little bit more to the left. So you have more flight distance than rolling. If you want to fly it 50% and want to roll it 50%, the ball is centered. It's a ball position right in the middle of your stance. But if you want to say, okay, I want to have a chip and run or I want to have it more running than, ro than flying, you want to have the ball more to the right side. I'm talking for the right handers now, right? The left handers have to turn it around completely. So that's the first thought or the thinking you have to have with the chipping to have basic number one, which is the ball position. Basic number two for me is the stance, how you actually approach the ball. So the chipping is the first shot where you want to have ball bottom right you want to hit the ball first and then the ground if you want to hit the want to hit the ground actually but you certainly don't want to scoop the ball up with chipping right so what do you have to do because you don't have the efficiency of the whole swing you actually have to position yourself to the left of the ball so your nose your sternum needs to be a little bit left of the ball of course where i compare it sometimes is that it's a little bit more like standing downhill so your body's getting into that position you want to have a slight look from from the other side onto the ball because then the club really can go down onto the ball right so this is where you want to be a lot of amateurs really know that they want to stand on the left side but then they have the, the head on the right side so that really doesn't help because you keep on scooping so nose left the third basic for me is the hand position and that's super important even if it's explained super quickly that left or the left hand is in, is, is pointing towards the target line and it's also your club face and the hand position is inside your left thigh and it's pretty much always in front of the ball. So what you want to do, you want to keep your left hand in front of the ball, right? Now, I mean, I over exaggerated a little bit because I only do it out of my arms. You can do that with, there's nothing against it. You know, if you just want to do it with your arms, I show you. So ball position now, it's a little bit left because I want to fly it up a little bit longer. If you actually say, I don't want to do it just out of my arms. I actually want to have a slight turn in the back. You know, a lot of people get taught that the, um, the end of the club stays with your belly button connected. I don't have anything against it. You know, if that flattens out your swing a little bit or your approach, um, so you're not so steep, it's absolutely okay. I'm going to show you. So the ball position stays a little bit left. My nose stays left to hand is forward. And now I just release it a little bit more with my body. If that's better for you, there's speaking nothing against it at all. But first you want to have your left hand always in front of your right hand. That's the main thing. You don't want to have your right hand overtaking the left hand. So that's pretty much the basic. I mean, I had a, I have my gap wedge in my hand now. I, that's, that's the club I would see for that shot. Of course you can do it with different clubs as well. I'm a fan of, of lower chips because if you chip it lower, less can happen. But in the end of the day, those three basics, first of all, think of the landing point, which defines your ball position, then your nose position, your sternum position left of the ball, and your left hand is actually going more through the ball towards the target line, and then you can release it. So I really hope that helps you a little bit for your chipping. And um, 
If you want to test how good you are, you go on a downhill slope and chip downhill because that's the real test if you do it correctly or not. So now have fun. Um, if you want to comment on this or if you want to have questions, just ask. I try to answer everything. And now have fun and good luck.